So today for uh, Manners 1, we're going to start stringing some behaviors together. And the easiest way to do that is a skill we call puppy push-up. So what I'm going to ask Captain, he's already in a sit here, so I'm not going to reinvent the wheel and make him stand up and sit down. So he's sitting. I'm going to ask for a down. We've been working on this this week. But then I'm going to ask him to sit again. Yes. And as soon as that foot came down, I have all four feet on the ground. That's what I'm looking for. Down. Sit. Down. Yes. So I'm doing three behaviors for one treat. If you've been struggling with the down behavior, um, there's another variation of this that you can use or if your dog is injured or doesn't like laying down, whatever the case may be. Sit, stand. I can use a lure if I need to. Stand, sit, yes. So I can go sit, stand, sit or sit, down, sit. What we're really starting to get you guys to think about is stringing multiple behaviors together for one treat and also starting to think about when you need to lure versus when you need to reward. Um, I'll give a, a video on the differences between luring and rewards in a few minutes and that'll be in your resources. Um, but I just want to make sure that um, you guys are starting to put multiple things together for one treat. Um, so work on your puppy push-ups this week. See if you can work for, like, get a handful of your dog's kibble for their breakfast. Captain, touch. Sit. Down. Sit. Yes. So I'm using just my hands. Here's a reward. I marked as soon as he was done. He gave a cookie. Down. Sit. Down. Yes. Good boy. See if you can get your dog to do 10 puppy push-ups today for their kibble. And you notice I'm not treating for every sit or every down. It is the series of three. And if you want to start getting more complicated with it, you could start asking for four behaviors or two behaviors, mix it up a little bit. Um, but this is the beginning of coming off of the treats for every little thing that they're doing. So take some videos of yourself this week, email it to me, considerationsbook at gmail.com. And we'll go from there. And if you're struggling with it, please, please, please let me know so I can talk you through it. All right, on to the next thing.